I don't know if you guys remember Dr. Miles Monroe. He passed away yeah. several years ago. Yeah. But um, you know, we we admire a lot of things he said. Uh, he had a he had a message about money. Mm-hmm. I want to see if you agree with him though. Okay. Okay. You ready for this? Let's go. Listen carefully. We've been taught in religion that the devil is the enemy. We've been taught in religion that the devil is the one who wants to master you. Jesus disagrees. He said there are only two masters on earth that controls man, and he never mentions the devil. There's something more dangerous than the devil, he says, and it's money. What wakes you up in the morning? God or the job? Are you so busy to get to work you never pray in the morning? I ain't got time for God. I got to catch the traffic. God or money? Do you know that God never says that Satan is the root of all evil? The devil is a joke compared to money. The love of money. Not money, the love of it. Two jobs, sell your body. The love of money is the root. What motivates you? Is it God? Or money you can't do both he says either love the one or hate the other so according to Jesus his conclusion was that every action of all mankind is motivated by either the pursuit of money or service to God that's it God is not against money but God is against you serving money hmm. okay yeah do you agree with that yeah I do you think that money is more powerful or more of an enemy to us than Satan? Yeah, I do. I do because we always talk about how Satan has a bark, but he doesn't have a bite. You know what I'm saying? We always say, oh, his bark is bigger than his bite. And then I see a lot of pastors, and I've watched this a lot lately, a lot of pastors discredit the devil to say that he has any type of power whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? And we look at it like, we fear like spiritual warfare. We fear all these. We fear, you know, uh, evil in dark places and and you know principalities and all these different things that we we wrestle against. Um, and so I feel like I feel like yeah. If you start if you start connecting the dots to what money has done, then yeah, I, I would definitely say I could see I could see that being. I don't being, agree with them. I don't agree That's with him. Um, I, I love Dr. Miles Monroe, but I, I think I think he's framing it wrong. So okay. I'm, I actually went and found the verse that he's referring to. Right. Okay. Um, so this this uh, chapter, I'm going to go into it. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish, harmful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. For which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Now, the all kinds of evil was like a a little addition. Some mm-hmm. say is the root of all evil. Mm-hmm. Some say root of all kinds of evil. Mm-hmm. I think it's important for us to figure out which one that is because that means a lot, important. right? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. for us to say that it's you, you have you can only serve one master, and it says you can serve mm-hmm. God or money. I don't know if it meant. That's the only other master there is. Right. Well, when I think I, it's just saying that if money is an issue for you, if you have a love for money, you can either serve that desire or you can serve your love for God. If your love is for sex, you could either serve that desire or your love for God. I don't know if it was exclusive money or God is the only problems you have in your Well, heart. when he said that, I heard something a little different. I heard money leads to evil, meaning money buys guns money buys drugs you know what i'm saying like those are the evil things that come out of the love of money or having right, money right so to me that's where my mind first went to but but what i understand is mm-hmm. satan is behind all of that too it's not like it's satan or money or it's satan is is he he, he desires for you to desire that you see what i'm saying it's not like he's not involved in all of that stuff right right but i I was thinking back along the conversations that we had with a, a recent guest, right? And mm-hmm. we talked about um, shooting up the church in in um, Charlotte mm, Charles, or in Charleston. Charleston, yeah, Charleston, and in Charleston, and it was like, okay, you could sit there and be thinking in your mind, I want to kill all these people, right? But you wouldn't be able to do that without that weapon. 
you wouldn't have been able to brought that weapon without the money. Are you saying money. that his love for money is why he did that? No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying when I heard Dr. Miles Monroe talking about when he gave the two different comparisons, my thought immediately went to I could agree with that because I could see money being the purchase of you know guns, money being the no, purchase there, of drugs. There's no way you can say his love for money is why he did that. That would I didn't make say any his sense. love for but money. But then that would disqualify what Miles Monroe was saying. Like that kid since. If you don't understand, we're, there's an interview we just did last night. We'll play it at some point in the future. And and the topic of, uh, mm-hmm. what's his name, Dylan Ruth or something like that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, his, his evil that he committed had yeah. nothing to do with money. So this that invalidates this whole thing. No, but what he's saying is, what did, Mal, what did Dr. Miles Monroe say? He said... He said money was, was even more powerful or more of a problem for your life than the devil. Yeah. I just don't agree with that. I don't agree with it being... Okay, what did I say first? I said I agreed with the idea that money could be more powerful. Yeah, I, I, I still agree with it. I still agree with it. Because I think... Than the the Satan, the, the antagonist of your entire life. Well, because I feel like, I feel like <laughs> Satan is a real enemy, but again... Um, we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. So I feel like even though God has already said he's overcome the world, that would mean Satan too. So, I mean, I look it at it like... money as well. It does. But what I'm saying is we... I've heard people say you give way too much placement to the devil. I've heard pastors say you give way too much placement to the devil. And I do <laughs> believe we do that. I do believe we do that. So, in my mind, I'm thinking, yeah, I can see where Dr. Miles Monroe says we're giving too much placement to the enemy. We're giving him too much power to say that he's you know a greater evil than some of the other things around us jerry what do you what do you think um i'm gonna go with joseph king on this satan um he actually says yeah satan is the enemy because he puts all of this other stuff in our face Mm -hmm. to try to get us uh to put to put it ahead of god so money is um it's a tool it's a tool but it's just like guns i mean all guns aren't evil um i think there's places for guns but it's you as a person is what your heart desires. Which is worse? Which is which have you witnessed cause more people harm and destruction? Their love for money or their love for sex? Their love for sex, absolutely. Their pursuit of sex versus their pursuit of Say money. Say it again. I was reading comments. Which yeah. one which one have you seen personally destroy someone's life more? Their love for money or their love for sex? Their love for sex. That's what I'm saying. It can't be the only yeah. other master. Right. I just I think the Bible was pointing it out because that was what was relevant to this passage. I don't think he. I but don't, I think I don't believe he was saying that's the only problem that you're going to have in your but life. But I think that I think that people's love for money and their love for sex is a different balance. You know what I'm saying like it's a different balance. Like I think people can definitely balance you know money and what they do what they do with money versus their appetite for sex. So how's it how could money be the only other master besides Satan? Well, cuz I think I think the I mean, like we talk about the love of money. Like the love of money is the root of all evil. And so you are thinking about like well, look what that look what did he did. Look what did he did. All this stuff, all these people he's hurt, all these things that he's done. R. Kelly is is Diddy's issue his love for money or his love for power? Right. Ooh, so I'm um, saying there's all kinds of I, masters that mm-hmm. can control your life. That's a hard question. That's a really hard question because you don't necessarily know which one fuels him more. I mean, he's a billionaire, so he's he's reached the pinnacle of that most that that everybody. I mean, nobody's you know reached trillionaire status. I, I, so. I just mean I can I can name a lot of evils that we've seen in this world that have nothing to do with money. And we the first one we mentioned was Dylan Roof. That had nothing to do with money. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is. Money is backing all this evil. It is. This is we we need some some Bible scholar. Please tell me <laughs> if I mean I don't know if it has to go because the new. Let me just say this: the New King James puts all kinds of evil. I'm sure I know for a fact. Yeah. Other versions say of all evil. Which one is it? And, so and, what's the and question that you're go asking? through the Greek, go through all that stuff, and tell me which one. Are is you the asking right the way? question? Is the <laughs> love of money the root of all evil? Is it the root of all evil or is it the root of all kinds, kinds of, of evil? evil? Okay. Which one is it? Okay. I would say the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil because that's what I'm then, suggesting. Then he's wrong. <sighs> Man. 
You know what I'm saying? That's the whole point. They, I would have to wrong. say I would have, I would want to give Dr. Miles Monroe the credit that he's written. I like that his he's illustration because other sure. versions Here, here's of the, the Bible. Point, here's the point he's making, mm-hmm. and this is probably what you've heard before. Yeah, your battle with your own flesh is probably going to be harder than your battle with Satan. Your a lot of things that you blame on Satan is really just sure. your own flesh. Mm-hmm. Sure. Satan probably was like, I, I ain't had nothing to do with that. That was wow, you, boy. Sure. That was you, buddy. I didn't even have to help with that one. So I think that's the point he's trying to make. Um, which is valid for most cases, but I, I, don't, I still don't think Satan is uninvolved in even your own flesh. The reason you have a flesh that you have to battle with is because he tempted one of your ancestors to 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 eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and good and evil. He was involved yeah, in that yeah, one yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. I don't see why you have to separate him from any of this stuff. Now, if you go that far back, then then I mean, the evil of Satan existed without money. When it came There's to no the, the tree of uh, the knowledge of good and evil. Um, but what I'm saying is like when you and, and this is where I'm coming from. I hope you all understand this in the chats. When I say like the evil that, you know, uh, <coughs> terrorists are backed with, that's that they're backed with There's, money. Those, they're yeah, funded. There are through, people who money is their biggest problem. Yeah. But is that the only other problem? No, it's not the only other problem. But what I what I do, like I'm, I'm going to hold true to what I said when money supports all these bad things happening, then you got to look at the the money as, you know, a cause of evil, a okay. use for evil. Maybe I can say that. Maybe it's a use for evil. But yeah, I, I mean, but I would imagine like. I would imagine. There's um, I don't know, man, there's there's so many different arguments about that, because you could say, you know, uh, being a philanthropist and giving money away could also make you prideful in a sense you know what i'm saying like, so, like look at look at where uh rick ross and meek mill and all those folks are when they're like i'm giving away turkeys on thanksgiving and i'm i'm, I'm giving away backpacks it in, in the fall it's like yeah it's also making you prideful you're giving but you're bragging about it mm, right yeah um and scripture tells us you know uh to do these things in secret so yeah it's just interesting when, when i heard i was like is that right what he just said I, I don't know if it's right i don't know if that's accurate what he said but it's it's an interesting point i don't think and for all the bible thumpers and, and warriors out there you don't have to get angry because we don't know the r- answer to this right away we're trying to figure it out so you if can. you have if you have an answer please put it in um i saw that uh ray said that um lost and found had a good answer what what did lost and found say did you see what lost and found said <clears throat> we'll find it later 